Going to a World Cup is not just about the football. It's about meeting new people, seeing new places and experiencing an altogether different culture. The tournament is taking place in the Middle East for the first time and on this week's episode of Football Now, we're looking at where fans will be staying during sports showpiece event. Hello there and welcome to Football Now from Doha. Not long to go until the FIFA World Cup kicks off. Two million tickets sold so far, one million fans expected to come into the country. Now, as you might be able to tell, I'm sitting in one of the apartments that you could be staying in during the tournament. But it's not just apartments that are available. There's plenty of options for those coming to Qatar. For fans wanting their own space, serviced apartments will be available, ranging between one and six bedrooms, some of which include a gym and a swimming pool. For something a bit different, static cruise ships will be moored at the city's Grand Terminal, with poolside cinemas, a spa and wellness centre, and even tennis and basketball courts on board too. Cabin style and casual camping accommodations are on offer as well. Located on the outskirts of Doha, fans can experience Arabian camping that showcases the local traditions of Qatar. And of course, the traditional hotels are available to fans located all over the city, including downtown Doha and the modern skyscraper area of West Bay. The host nation are hoping to deliver 130,000 rooms during the tournament, with prices starting at around about 80 euros per night for two people. We are uh, fulfill all their fans' needs. So, if someone would look uh, would like to have a, 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 a low price accommodation, he will find it. And if someone would looking for the luxury one, which like floating hotel or hotels. Also, it is available. So we are trying to, to put everything in one portal, one, one channel for fans to, to make it easy for them to go through it and, and choose what they would like to have. The World Cup is a great opportunity to showcase Middle Eastern culture to a world audience. The Al Bayt Stadium is based on a traditional Arabic tent known as Bayt Al Shahar. And for fans wanting a real taste of Qatar, they can even stay in one too. This is our culture. We have a tent, we have a dows. This is our culture and uh, it is good to, to provide the fans with a different experience so they can feel that really it's a different and they are living in, in Arab Gulf or in Qatar. Uh, this kind of experience would never come back again to this fan if they didn't try it this time. Uh, of course they can visit uh, some uh, touristic area like sea lion or desert and enjoy the time during the tournament. Now this particular apartment is in the central Doha district of Meshereb. As you can probably tell, there's a nice big dining table. There's a balcony outside in case you want to stretch your legs of an evening. Let's go through to the kitchen because you won't have to eat out every night here in Qatar. You've got plenty of space to rustle up something of an evening. It's got all the mod cons and the most important thing in the kitchen, this, the kettle for a nice hot brew. And this particular fan is up for the cup. My friend Lloyd booked the accommodation. Uh, he's got us in a, in a little apartment about 10, 15 minutes outside of the city centre. He's got what we need. He's got Wi-Fi, air conditioning and, and comfy beds. So, you know, for what we need, I think that's, that's absolutely perfect. I went to Doha maybe 10 or so years ago as, as part of a different trip. So I'm intrigued to see how it's kind of changed since then. Um, I think we often talk about football when we go to the World Cup or we go to the Euros or whatever. Going to these places and going on these trips for away games, the football is obviously important and the World Cup is, the football is, is what it's all about. But part of it is just going on a, on a trip with your mates really and experiencing something new. We've been to a couple of great countries and a couple of great places over the years and this is just something else that's different that we're kind of keen to experience. From the fans to players now, all 32 teams have confirmed their accommodation during the tournament. Germany and Belgium are staying on the outskirts of the country, but the majority will reside in the capital of Doha. Well, Stephen Warnock knows exactly what it's like to spend a month away from home with his country. The former defender was part of the England 2010 World Cup side that stayed in South Africa. And he says mixing with the local community is vital for players and fans alike. Yeah, I think it, it can be difficult at times. I think you can you can get on top of each other and you can um, spend a little bit too much time with each other at times. However, you have got the, the space of your room, lounge areas, games room, gymnasium, whatever it might be. I think the big thing when we were in South Africa was we were very isolated. Um, we didn't have the opportunity to walk out into a local town. And I think that's key to 
to what you, what managers, what uh, countries try and achieve now. So that's a player's perspective. As for the fans in Qatar, they're confident of a successful tournament. I see how the, the country trains, all the things that they construct uh, for the World Cup. And I think it will be like a huge party. Uh, it will be the best World Cup uh, of the history. And it will be difficult to have a similar World Cup now in the future. It's been a great and amazing journey to be part of this road to 2022 FIFA World Cup. And having been born and brought up in this country, it's great to see how this country has transformed over the years. And it gives me immense joy to welcome the world to Qatar. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's show. All the accommodation options can be found at qatar2022.qa forward slash book. And do let us know your thoughts at home using the hashtag FootballNowQatar. And we'll see you soon for more Football Now.